What's up, everybody? Spirit with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. I just noticed my crosshair was missing. I really thought I turned that on. Um, so yeah, we have another game update, which has kind of become the norm for uh, Saturday, since it's the next episode after Thursday. Um, so basically, there's a lot of little things to go over in this update. Um, first off, the big news is uh, these guys. There's welders and grinders. Now, the grinders have already been there, but um, they recently added them for small ships. And the welders are new all the way around. Essentially, the welders are, they work like the, the hand welder, but for ships, so you could actually have like construction ships. Now, which I think is pretty awesome and I'll no doubt use that so you got your your welder type thing and they ch no I guess they didn't change I thought they changed the graphics for um, the grinder but I guess not so the small ships now they've already added one that has um, I think both yes it has a grinder and a welder um, and a connector which I guess has little doors now okay that's that's no nope, wrong button that's gonna bug me I told it to turn the crosshair on I don't know why it's not doing there we go so I don't know if these little doors were here before but apparently you can do like this where you butt them up to the co uh, the hopper <laughs> the collector now um, and I'm gonna go over some of this other part stuff in a moment um, but so it pretty much works like you would expect. You turn the grinder on. Why it says angle, I don't know. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. So you can grind stuff. And it'll eventually break. There we go. Now, if we look in our inventory... Really? Where'd the... Hmm. Oh, it's because it's um, creative. That's right. So, kind of works the same way if you select the welder. Then it, like, rebuilds it. Almost as if you were using the welder from the ship. So that's pretty neat. I think that's pretty cool and it'll be very useful for making, like, construction ships and things like that. Um, now there's a few other... Ooh, this is a cool design. There's a few other changes they made to the whole conveyor system. Some of them you can feel free to chime in on and correct me if I'm mistaken. Because um, a couple of the pieces I'm not entirely sure. Like I watched the video that uh, the devs put out and it didn't quite click exactly what the difference was. Uh, the main being the ejector versus the connector. They kind of do the same thing in my opinion. Oh, that's the difference. Okay, it's not available for small ships. I mean, uh, for stations. What about large? Nope, not available for large. Okay. So the connector you can put on a small ship and you, an ejector only takes up one block. Oh, okay. And this ties into some of the changes they made with the conveyor system that I'll go over next. Um, so you got small conveyors, small conveyor tubes, and small angles. Um, so how this works, let's grab just a random ship here. Uh, what is this actually? Oh yes, uh, they changed the cargo units as well. Small, medium. They still look the same here, which is a little jarring. And I think the... Oh, okay, it's for small ships. So these look the same, I guess. Medium's not available, which is really weird. So the station and large ship containers still look the same. The smalls, however... It's a little bitty container. It's like a little baby unicorn. Um... The mediums look relatively different as well. They have like a big door and then some small ones on the sides. 
And now this the large can be used... I don't know if that was in the last update or not. I think it was that the large could be added to a small ship. Like so. So you can see kind of the difference in those versus the, um, the main large ship ones. Um, now... So this is a medium. Uh, so basically what you can do is use these small conveyors at this point. I don't know if that would work or not. I'm not really sure if that would work or not. But you could do an ejector, I suppose. And then do a tube, maybe? Will the tube connect to it? No. Now, this is the one... Th I don't think they changed the, the hopper size. No. The hopper's still the, the really big one for, for whatever reason. I'm not too positive as to what that is. Um, so let's do it this way, just for the heck of it. So you can have um, small conveyor tubes set up like this, and then these are the conveyor blocks for going in different directions. Um, and I'm starting to figure out now what's going on. Uh, before I was kind of like, what's the difference watching their videos? But now that I'm playing around with it, it's starting to make sense. Um, honestly, except for this frame, I don't really know what the frame's for. So if you can figure it out, uh, let me know. But you can come off of this, and now they're like large type tubes. So you could do like this kind of thing. Um, and for kicks and giggles, let's just bring this out. Um, this isn't level, so let's put a conveyor block there. Oh, and see, then there's the three. So I guess, I don't think... I, I'm, I think if you wanted the big tubes, you'd have to match them to the big... Um, openings. So like this, if you wanted to go up one. I think. Again, feel free to correct me, because I'm in no way an expert. Uh, that's not quite where I wanted it. What happens if we just go out like this? Um, get out of the... Get out of there. It's weird, it's like it's on a half... Oh, because it's a small, probably. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, let's put... Tube here. Uh, one here. And see, because this is the bigger tubing, now we're going to need the actual connector to finish the connection grid here. Come on, get on the right grid. I hate it when it's off like this. Go. Um, and as you can see, it lights up green. Now, again, what I don't know is what this block is for. The conveyor frame is not available for state. I don't know... Oh, it's to bridge... See, this is why I like doing these videos. It helps me figure out how things work that I don't know how they work. Or I wouldn't normally because I have to make a video on it. So, you could do something... like this. Or wait, would you go lower? Because we're a bit high. So... I'm just kind of playing around with it, to be honest. Um, I don't really need to go through all this, but basically you could do a frame here, I'm guessing. And then that will, like, extend it by a half block type of thing. Um, now, let's put a block here. Um, nope. this. 
Now let's just take conveyors up. So you'd have to play around with the framing to get it to line up perfectly or whatever, but you can see how now, if we did a block here, um, it'll line up better. And then when you put the ejector there, it's actually on the same level. So that's what the frame is for. Okay, that makes more sense. Now, some of you might be wondering, why is there two different systems? That comes to the biggest functionality change and why these small and large tubes were, were necessary and why they had to redo um, the different chests and storages and connections and ports and all that kind of stuff. Because, um, see, these big doors are for the big connectors, I think. Can you... Could you put one here? Oh, I guess it will take one. I don't... I don't know if that would actually work in the survival or not. But, if you take a small one... And then you could put, like, an ejector there. Something like that. So, why would you do that, you may ask? Well, I'm gonna read from the change log is that... Um... The welder and grinder are both... Uh, small are, are available for both small and large ships. A larger type of conveyor is also available for small ships. This allows them to transfer all kinds of components. The following items will fit inside the small tubes, which are these, right here. And they say, it's 3, 4, and 5 on my hotbar, and they'll say small tubes. Um, the rule is simple, although it may change in the future. Items that have any other dimension larger than 25 centimeters will need large tubes, aka ores and ingots, will fit in these. Construction components, motors, computers, reactor component, thruster component, explosives, rifle ammo, and gatling ammo will fit in the small tubes. But things like, um, although it doesn't list them, I'm just speculating off the top of my head as to what isn't on the list that fits in the small tubes would be things like uh, thruster components, medical components, um, reactor rods, missiles, um, rockets, things like that those would only go into these large tubes. They won't fit in the small ones, hence why there's now two different sizes for small ships. Now, for large ships and stations, I think these are the same. I don't think you can use them, because like when you highlight them, it says, yeah, not available for stations. So it's all just the one large system. Um, but for small ships, now they have like, um, for example, like the mining, uh, the badger that I made on my survival world, uh, that one, I could use just the small tubes because all I'm processing is ores and uranium and, and whatnot. I'm not using ammo. Uh, but if you were using rocket ships or just like this, a welder that needed a bunch of different components, then you'd have to have a system like this set up or like this where it's connected to um, a collector or whatever. So that's kind of cool and new um, as far as some different changes to the gameplay because I mean I'm not part of the dev team so I can't speak for them but I'm pretty sure that this one change of having different dimension things go through different tubes is what caused they had to resize ports and doors on the crates resize the crates do different graphics for the crates I mean like that one change probably had to have cascaded into a ton of different other small minor tweaks that they ended up doing um, now, what is, what is this one? This is the ejector, and this is the connector on this one, but the ejector's not available. Okay, so this is ejector, connector, and then connector for small. Okay, because I remember in the video they showed three different sizes, and I was trying to figure out what the difference was. Um, so this is for large ships, and these two are for the small ship versions. Um, speaking of size changes, or, well, not really size changes, but, um, tires, uh, and thrusters. Where are the thrusters? There we go. So, tires have changed. The, the graphic style has changed. Um, can I place them like this? I wonder. No. Darn. I wanted to place them like that for the thumbnail. Oh, wait, I could put them on here. Couldn't I? No? Nothing? Really? Darn. 
That would have been cool. Just playing a giant tire on the wall. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just place it like this. Really? Get out of the way. Fine, we'll go the other way. So that's the big old tires. And then that's the medium, and then these are the new smalls. Um, so they changed the tire, which I think looks cool. They look a lot cooler. It looks more like a tire. Uh, this is just monster truck waiting to happen. <laughs> like, somebody needs to make a, a car size like one of these, but with wheels like this, and just be a stupid monster truck thing. Um, and thrusters have changed a little bit. Mostly the small ones, I think. I guess the large have changed as well. So that's the new large design for stations and um, in large ships. And then small... Small ships have these for a large and these for a small. So they basically look identical now, in my opinion, I think. I'm pretty sure these look the same, they're just on a smaller scale. So mostly, most notably is the small thruster to me. While the, the large is different, wait a minute. Oh, that's the difference. On a small ship, it has a different texture, I guess, maybe. This, on the, these, they have, like, a big hatch kind of thing. I wonder if that means eventually they're going to add, like, maintenance to where you'll have to, like, open the hatch and weld wires and stuff. That would be insane. Um. So, yeah. Uh, new tires. New thruster looks. New small ship crate looks. Uh, totally overhauled small ship conveyor system complete with ejectors and small tubes and connectors and big tubes and a frame to cut the difference on a small ship's grid system which is kind of interesting um let's see how would you fix this now that I think I want to see if I can figure out how to how to fix the dimensional gap here I think what you would do let me see if I've got this system correct what you would do is need a frame, which you would put here, then I don't know what parts I'm going to need. Then you would do one, no, uh, two here, maybe. Okay, what if we did two frames? Can you do that, even? Okay, looks like you can. And that's... It looks like... These are gonna... Why aren't you turning? You should be turning. Seriously, I'm hitting the turn button. Why aren't you turning? You dumb thing. Seriously, it refuses to turn. Um, I think... Well, let's do this instead. Seriously, nothing will turn the way I want it to. Ugh, flip over, dang it. Alright, it looks like... I think these are three long, where the frame is two. So then you'd add... Block here... Right, and then and then like this and boom. Okay, so that's a good example of the frames. What they're used for is to bridge the gap on small ships because the small ship's grid size is smaller. Um, so I think that's about it. Other than some other minor bug fixes that they did. Um, you know, memory leaks and glitches and things like that that they tried to fix, all of which I can't remember offhand. But mostly I've only ever covered the updates. Uh, it was what added or changed. So I think we're going to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!